There are 12 essential questions that every writer should answer about his or her story. And the third of these is the main character's approach, doer or beer. Now, some of the characters you create as an author will be doers who try to accomplish their purposes through activities by doing things. Other characters are beers who try to accomplish their purposes by working it out internally, by being a certain way. When it comes to the main character, this choice of doer or beer will have a large impact on how he or she approaches the story's problem. If you want your main character to prefer to solve problems externally, choose a doer main character. If you want your main character to prefer to solve problems through internal work, choose a beer. This determines the main character's approach, the kinds of techniques that character will use to solve problems, which favor either mental or physical effort. Now, by temperament, main characters, like each of us, have a preferential method of approaching problems. Some would rather adapt their environment to themselves through action, and others would rather adapt their environment to themselves through strength of character, charisma, and influence. Now, there's nothing intrinsically right or wrong with either approach, yet it does affect how one will respond to problems. So choosing doer or beer does not prevent a main character from using either approach, but merely defines the way he's likely to first approach a problem, using the other method only if the first one fails. Examples of doer characters are John McClane, played by Bruce Willis in Die Hard, or Harry Callahan, Clint Eastwood in Dirty Harry. Rookie FBI agent Clarice Starling, Jodie Foster, in Silence of the Lambs, also responds instinctively to events by taking action, which is why her supervisor believes she'll make a good FBI agent when she graduates from training. Examples of beer characters with an intrinsic approach to problem solving of deliberation would be Frank Horrigan, again played by Clint Eastwood in the film The Line of Fire. In fact, Clint Eastwood often alternates in the movies in which he starred between action-oriented doer characters and consideration or deliberation-oriented beer characters. Attorney Ned Racine, played by William Hurd in Body Heat, is also a beer. He seems impulsive in matters of love, but deliberates endlessly about his options before agreeing to help sexy Maddie Walker, Kathleen Turner, inherit her husband's fortune. While a beer can often seem like a victim in a story where actions drive decisions because they just sit around thinking while everyone else is doing something. But in a story influenced by decisions or driven by decisions, beers are often the mastermind or supervisor behind the scenes putting restraints on characters who are doers. In a TV cop show like Law & Order, a beer, for example, might be the chief of police or the district attorney, rather than the on-the-spot undercover detective or an assistant district attorney whose job is to prosecute criminals in court who'd be more likely to be a doer. The most famous movie pairs also usually have a beer and a doer, so if you're writing a buddy story and you want Butch and Sundance or Thelma and Louise, you're probably going to want to have a beer and a doer character in your pair to make them memorable and make their chemistry click. So, whenever you're putting your story together and you're thinking about your main character, don't just consider whether or not they change in the end or remain steadfast to the same ideals they started with, but also consider whether they prefer to take action and accomplish their purposes as a doer or to engage in deliberation and internal work to try and accomplish their purposes as a beer. I'm Melanie Ann Phillips, and I hope you'll join us for more writing tips at storymind.com.